Large format project files are not exclusive to just Adobe products. You can easily create large designs in Canva. And in this video, we'll do just that. So stick around as I show you everything you need to know to create an epic pop-up display banner with Canva. Let's get started. With Canva open, we're gonna start a new project file. And unfortunately, Canva does not allow us to create really large project files. And I'm assuming it's due to um, performance. So what you're gonna do and what most printers will ask you to do when you know dealing with large formats um, is to just work at half scale. So in this example, the fi actual finish size um, not, you know, reduce the half scale would be 33.7 inches by 81.34. And like I said, that's just too big for Canva to handle. So we're going to just work at half scale. And to do that, you're just going to take the 33.7 and the 81.34. Obviously yours, your dimension is going to be a little bit different, but just divide it by, um, by two, and then you'll just kind of get the half scale. So for the sake of time, I've already done the math. And what we're gonna do is come here to create custom dimensions, change this to inches. And then for me, it's going to be 16.85 inches by 40.67 inches. And then that's gonna create a nice long canvas for us. And from here, you can, you know, create your own design. In this case, I'm gonna be doing that for a little taco company that I made up or you can just kind of come to templates and then just see what templates work for you and for your specific project. But just kind of show you the flexibility of Canva, I'm gonna create something from scratch. So let's just jump right in. So for the sake of time, I've already uploaded some elements that will help with the design process. So if I come here to uploads, I'm gonna wanna come over here and I have these colors, this little swatch that I created. I'm gonna just put this to the side and I wanna, you know, I'm split this up in two halves, kind of like how we have here, this light, this lighter off color, and then this uh, this nice little orange. So I'm gonna come to elements, and I'm gonna use this nice square as a base, and I'm just gonna kind of readjust it. Just click on these little, these little handles, and it will just adjust proportionally, and then just kind of go like that, and then just bring it downwards. That looks about right, perfect. And I'm just gonna move this down. Command C and then Command V to copy and paste. Put that bad boy up. Let me just bring this down a little bit more. And I want this to be this off white. So I'm gonna come over here to this little color block. And what's really cool is Canva has already, you know, generated the two colors that I want based on this color or based on the photo. So I'm gonna choose the off white. I can then delete this little swatch here. And I'm just gonna make sure it's kind of like centered in the middle. Something like that could be be fine just really rough awesome and i know i want to have my logo front and center so what i'm going to do is just kind of place this here at the top so i'm going to go back to my uploads and i have this little gorditos logo that i created real quick and i like the size of it let me just kind of make sure it's centered if you hold on shift and just kind of drag the element around it'll snap to the guides and in this instance i want it to be in the middle so it's just going to snap to that side right there, perfect. And now I'm gonna bring it right up into the safe area. I would say about there is fine. That looks good. Maybe a little bit lower. And then we can just make this a little bit smaller by clicking, holding down shift to, you know, scale proportionally and just bring it down a little bit. Whoops, there we go, perfect. And I know that Gorditos is gonna have a, a nice little, uh, maybe like a little headline or a, not a headline, but like a, a description of the company. So I wanted to say um, authentic tacos uh, or authentic Mexican tacos in Spanish. Um, so what we're gonna do is just kind of click on this text and I'm going to add, uh, let's do a headline. Just click, bring that bad boy up. And again, Canva has a lot of really cool fonts for you to choose from. Just kind of browse through them, see which one looks the best for you. If it has a little crown, that means that it's a Canva Pro subscription only font, but it's okay. Canva has a lot of um, fonts that you can choose from. And in this case, I'm going to go, let's see what fonts I want to use. Let's try this one out. So come over here, click on the font, and then you can search for fonts. 
things. Yeah, you got, that's what I'm looking for. Perfect. And I want this to be all uppercase. So I'm just going to highlight everything, come over here and then click on that guy and it will then bump everything up into uppercase. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to copy and paste what I wanted to say. Perfect. And then I'm going to drop that down to, let's try 55 points. Boom. That looks great. Awesome. And I want this logo to be a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to click and drag it out over here. Make sure it's centered. Bring this guy down. And then from here, you can change the actual logo or not the logo, but the, uh, the copy color by just coming to this little a here and then just choosing a color right in here in the color wheel. And then you can kind of just drag around and see which color you want to use. I think for this instance, I have a particular hex code, which I would like to input. And I think it's going to be two zero one D one six. I think there you go. Yeah. It's just, it's like a little, like a darkish grayish blackish, not exactly black, but Hey, that looks good right there. And then what I'm going to do now is I, I want like a nice image of the tacos and I found a really nice image that will work for this design. And I already have that uploaded inside of the elements. I'm sorry, not the elements, but the uploads. And it's this nice little taco in a little, a little window, if you will. Right. That's trendy. That looks pretty cool. And what I want to do is maybe just kind of bump them up a little bit more. There we go. That could work. I'm happy with that. And I want there to be enough breathing space here. And I don't want it to actually go into the bleed. Unfortunately, I don't know exactly where the bleed is in here, but I think where Canva has produced the, the safe area, I think that's sufficient enough. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be anywhere the, near the bleed. So just as long as you're inside of that little, that little box that's showing up, you should be in a good place. So if you click and double click again, or I'm sorry, click and then hold down shift. You can grab two elements and then kind of adjust them to where you'd like. I think that should be fine. That's cool right there. And now I want to do is add some, I want to add some icons here, but I think there's not going to be enough space. So I'm just going to bring this up a little bit more and then bring this up. It's all in the fine adjustments guys. Just kind of tweak with it until you get something you like. And I, have some icons I want to use. So I'm going to come back into, excuse me there. I want to come back into my elements, not again, uh, the, <laughs> the uploads. I'm all over the place today, guys. Deal, deal with it, deal with it. And then just click and then it will show you the, the, the element will show up on the, the canvas and then just click on the handlebars and then bring that bad boy down. That's okay. Command plus will zoom into your canvas. And I think I want him right there. And I want this, this icon to be inside of a circle. So we're going to go to elements and just, let's do an outline circle. And then we're just going to bring that one down a little bit, something like that's fine. And then we just want to make sure it's the same color as this icon and camera ready gave us that color. So we're just going to click on that. Perfect. And then I'm going to just take him in here and then bring him down a little bit. So he's kind of floating inside of the box or inside of the uh, circle. Uh, right there's fine. That looks good. And I want this, this little call out to say no gluten. So I'm going to want to, I want to put like a little strike through. So I'm just going to come over here to lines, zoom out. Cause it's been added. There it is. Bring it down, zoom in. And then we're just going to bring this in here like that. Perfect. And then we can rotate this line or really any elements by just clicking this little icon of the circle, little arrows, and then just kind of putting it like a 45 degree. Let's do 30 degrees. I guess is fine around there. Perfect. And then I want that to be the same color. And then you can change the line weight and just kind of adjust it. So it kind of matches this circle here. I think maybe seven's fine. Yep. That's good. 
And what I want to do next is add some copy over here. So I'm going to go back into the text section. We'll do a heading again, go over here. And then for the sake of time, I'm just going to copy and paste some verbiage I have ready. Paste that in there. And then I want this to be, let's try 45 points. That's fine. And I want it to be left justified. So come over here and you can change your alignment. So we have centered, left, right, and there you go. And then you have just justified all across the board. But I want this left justified and I want it to be the same color as the icon. And then something like that's fine. Perfect. And then we're gonna zoom out. I'm gonna select all these elements here, bring them down like that. Whoops. There we go. Something like that's fine. And then zoom out. So that's Command minus on the keyboard. And then we're gonna command V, paste it. And then one more time, command V, paste it. And then just kind of make sure they're roughly the same distance from each other. That should be fine. And then what I wanna do is just remove these because I just want there to be a base. Let's zoom in here. And I want this, it's not letting me grab this icon here because this circle's at the top. So if you right click it, uh, we can send it backwards and now you'll be able to grab that icon Just delete that right there because I have one I already want to use and then we'll do this little knife Zoom out because it's been pasted in the center Zoom back in and then we're just going to reduce this down Perfection Adjust accordingly. That's fine. You can fine tune adjustments by using the arrow keys left to right, up and down on your keyboard. And again, for the sake of time, just copying some pay, copying some verbiage. We're going to paste it in there. That's fine. Zoom out. I want this made to be the next line. So I'm just going to hit enter on the keyboard. Perfect. Zoom out. And I want this to be a little bit lower and a little bit bigger. That's fine. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. And we're gonna come back over here, delete this. Again, let's move this to the back. Again, you're just gonna right click that element, send backwards, and then you should be able to delete that icon. And then I'm gonna put this one in here. Bring them down, bring them down. Perfect. And then we're just going to zoom in, adjust accordingly. Command Z on the keyboard to undo. I think that's fine right there. Good. I'm going to zoom out and then I'll copy the last bit of verbiage. Paste that in there. Nice, and then just kind of adjust it. Looking good, we're gonna zoom out. And I feel, I feel visually it's leaning more towards the right, even though it's centered. So we're just going to just adjust everything optically and just by eye, just nudge everything to the left to make it seem like it's more balanced out. And I think it's a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna Adjust a little bit more around there. That looks that looks pretty good. Maybe maybe one more to the right. That's fine. Perfect. I'm happy with that. I'm actually gonna move this up a little bit too, and then nudge it a little bit to the left too. That looks fine. And then I just want to add um I want to add another another line of copy here, and it'll probably just be the the company the company website, which doesn't exist, so don't visit it just for uh, just for an example. And then come over here to the text again, add a heading, 
bring that down and I'm just gonna copy the URL, paste it in. And then we're gonna go over here to make sure it's the same font. This is actually the incorrect font too. I'm gonna switch everything out to the font that I chose initially, just to make sure everything is consistent. And then I want this to be 45 points. Let's do 45 points again, yeah. And I want this one to be white, so I'm gonna go over here to do the color changer and just pick the white. And then bring it down till I get the box, of uh, the safe zone box, and then make sure it's centered. And since we changed the font, the, uh, you know, the parameters kind of changed. So now I wanna nudge this more to the left because now it's leaning too much to the right. Just select everything. And we're just gonna nudge, nudge, nudge. Do we have something we're happy with? Perfect. Let me bring this down a little bit more. That looks good. Awesome. And that's pretty quick. That's all she wrote. Like that was pretty fast. I mean, obviously I had uh, an understanding of what I wanted to do, but again, even if you don't have a jump off point, you can use the templates to, to start somewhere. So now that this is done, we're just going to come over to file, save. And now what you're going to want to do is export this for your printer. So just come to downloads and then from downloads, go over here to PDFs. I'm sorry, go over here to print PDFs. They get, it's a little confusing. You have your standard PDF and you have your print PDF. For this instance, we're going to be doing print PDF. Click on that and then make sure you have crop marks and bleed selected. Hit download and then Canva is going to prepare that file for you. It's going to save it somewhere on your desktop, most likely in your downloads folder. Take that folder and that file, give it to your printer. I personally use local printers all the time for my projects as I feel like I get better quality. I get a better, you know, turnaround time, but that's just me. Have a little look, see, see, see what works for you. And there you have it. Now creating large designs in Canva might seem complicated or even a little intimidating, but just as you saw, it's easy to create something great. As always, thank you so much for joining me here on Under Budget Marketing Design, a channel for understaffed marketers, small business owners, and do-it-yourselfers. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe as your support helps drive me to create more content just like this. Thank you again, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Under Budget Marketing Design. Thank <laughs> you.